welcome back to uh, Junk Punk. Um, let's load up the save and see what I want to get done today. I would rather get started on the um, automation. I mean, I was pissing around with the, the uh, dirt and water and stuff yesterday. Wow, that's fucking loud. The handcrafting is so inefficient compared to automating it that um, it might just be better to um, build the um, automation. Just get it, just get it started, and then this is really fucking low. Maybe there's got no control at all. You, you still want to hear it, but I don't know. Mm. I mean, obviously, you, you, the viewer, still wants to hear it. <coughs> Not just me jogging on all the time with no background noise. So, where am I? Right. Yes, yeah, so what did I do? I didn't really do much uh, after the last episode. I was got those wind turbines. And I was thinking about how to sort these out. I've got them all sorted up, all connected. No dirt or anything in them, you know. Luckily, you can walk through power cables because the way they're placed and the way these are uh, operate, they're always going to be in the way. Um, okay, so we've got the, the water pump and the water container there. Uh, one bed for each of the seeds and as a soil collector put an empty bucket in and takes contaminated soil then you put the contaminated soil in there and you get compost out which all has to be done manually and I did that once just to have a look at it and see, you see I've got a water bucket and a soil bucket that's after, after the composter the water bucket I got out of here Okay, now, buckets cost steel, and steel, if you make it by hand, is five scrap metal. But as we worked out yesterday, it's a lot cheaper if you do it with automation. So. I need a lot bigger platform for the automation level to go on. Right, so, 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 so. For that we need a lot of scrap. And for that, we're going to use this. And then belt it into a big, big container. Somewhere near here. Then we can use that container into these shredders. Now, only really steel and copper at the moment. Maybe gold, but that would produce the electronics rather than um, coming from the um, metal scrap. Um, and then that can go into the dust or the particles, then get smelted into ingots. And a better ratio than doing it by hand. So with this you can turn scrap metal into steel and copper and gold but gold to 10 to 1 ratio which is still better than doing it by hand. So maybe I can do it to 3. Okay but as we only have a splitter 2 to 1 and a merger 1 to 2 Well, okay, hang on, hang on. Because we're doing three. No, eventually, three of these. Then, from the big container, I can split it twice, so I go to two, then to four. 
three of them feed into steel, copper, gold. The fourth one just goes to another container, so all have scrap metal. This mines a stupid rate. And you pick it up, take it with you, belt it up again, and continue. So, I'm going to need much more foundations, and I'm going to need a lot more space. My covers build up. It's not a problem, just build up. Just steps up. So, I might do a, a ceiling on this and build up and put probably everything going off that direction. Um, yeah, I'll give that a go. See what, see what it's like. So what I'll do first is I'll get the ingredients for this and get the ingredients for this. Then I'll build some ramps up, some stairs, maybe on the side here, a couple of steps up, and the start of a, uh, the upper floor. Put the big container up there. And then I'll show you what I've done. And then we can set out the, uh, the laser. Probably over here somewhere. I think just normal scrap. And then that would all come flooding in over the conveyor belts into the floor above. And that will then allow us to then start constructing th these things we need. So I'll pause the video here because you don't really want to see me running around collecting it all by hand. It's pretty boring. So be some time for me but just a quick cut for you see you on the flip side if this pause works that is is it working okay back I've just built this little platform here and the large container and I've got the materials and it needs two power so I've created a power cable and enough stuff to get a generator going as well. So <coughs> I sh hopefully I've got enough rubber and metal scrap to auto save to um, run the belt to here as well. So where can I put it? Just here maybe. Machines, industrial laser. Oh. The exit, so put that there. Get the power this side. Yep. Get the wind generator going. What now? What have I forgot now? Five small gears. I got them to the wrong way around, didn't I? Because I'm a dick. Okay. Only three more small gears. Which is six steel. Which is 30 scrap metal. Three more small gears, please. There we go. One, two, three. One day, my bed my memory and my brain will be working properly. Today is not that day. <laughs> okay. That was all sorted. See, it's powered, and it's just scrap. And you put it to auto rotate. And 
you can change the angle. Let's just leave that. Let me get the um, the belt one in. I've got enough rubber and enough scrap metal. It should be okay. So, the belt it over to there. Follow me. Follow me, belt. How's that? The maximum length. Oh, I don't make a clipping. No, no. Is it there then? Ooh, it's weird. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Oof. Well, that seems to be the maximum length of the belt, anyway. Put it there. See if that works. See if we got it right because it seems to like just jump in on its own there. Here it comes. Yay! Look in here. Hey, have a look in here. Okay. Slowly filling up. Right. Let's go down and have a look at that again. And then I can just move this system wherever I need it to be. Oh, look at that. Turn that all to rotate. Move it up a little bit, please. So when you point it, when you click the auto rotate, we've set the center and it will damage your power pole. Ooh, that was close. Right. So while well, that's getting on. I need to extend this back. A long, long way. Well that's alright. I'm getting shit tons of that now. Give me a hundred. Let's start putting down some floors. Okay. Well, whatever. Probably need the one there anyway. But as I'm going to split it into two and then two, this side can be the um, just straightforward metal side. It doesn't need to be that big. They are monstrous, they are. And also, because that's now been automated, the drilling, I don't have to do it. So, time not spent doing that, it was time to go to the base and building more machines. You don't get any of the special resources like capacitors and stuff, but look how much it's coming in. Okay. Nope, I'm out. Press the on button. That's the Windows key, not the out key. Okay, let's continue. I've got a 
need some much beefier power generation as well. All these machines are just humongous compared to like the satisfactory. You know, they're all kind of like rusted and fucked up and like I said, I like the aesthetic. Okay, so when it comes out of there, it's still coming in. It's still coming down. Although that's probably missing. Probably needs to be reset a bit. Let me just start off the connections. Need a splitter. I need to see what it costs. Rubber spool. Okay. And steel scrap. So, no more gears. Let's go see if we've got any of those. So, I've only three of these. So that's pen and paper, write this down. Oh, notepad, I guess. Good old notepad. times belt splitters which is scrap metal times 13 equals 30 Spools. times 2 equals 6 steel scrap times 3 5 Steel scrap is five to one times five equals forty-five scrap metal. Small gears are two plus twenty-four scrap metal, and large gears are four. Um, four steel. Four steel. That's right. Equals uh, forty eight steel. Equals times five, two hundred and forty square metal. Really, just for twelve large gears. Well, I guess that's why I'm doing it with three. Uh, and that's going to be 120. That's going to be 24 steel. Equals 120 square metal. So, uh, 240 plus 120 plus 45 plus 30. It's 435 square metal. By handcrafting, plus whatever the rubber spools are. Hmm. Right. Take all that. Let's have a look at what rubber spools are. Let's see if I've got any. I do. I need six, is it? I do. So I've got six. Um, 
we adjust the minor. Set auto rotate that there. I think this is all plastic over here, isn't it? Don't know, is it? Yeah, it's plastic. Alright. They're putting in plastic anyway, sooner or later. Get handcraft in. All this nonsense. Just going to keep back from jumping in the water and nearly dying. Not it. Right. I probably won't need it. The maximum thing I said because I've still got some spools, uh, some cogs and stuff, but. Steel scrap. About 435 steel scrap. I'll scrap metal to make uh, 72, 77 steel scrap. <coughs> this could take some time. If I make too much, because I've got three large ones anyway, it doesn't matter, I'm still going to need it. Uh, 75. That's close enough. Right. Um, and then I need 12 and small and 12 uh, large. So I need nine of these. Oops. Did I miss? Oh. Do I get enough steel now? I need uh, nine for the steel. I've got fifteen. That might be enough. Well, let me let's, let, let's put out the um, three splitters anyway. and the laser somewhere. Right. That comes out. And I'll put it here. So over that side will be just another container. Then there'll be one of the three, steel or gold or copper. Then this side, coming out of the, this half, will be another. Some room. Oh, I'm short, what am I short on? Probably miscalculated. I don't know, I've got 10 scrap metal, 72, 27, two rubber spools, yeah, three steel scrap, but nine. Four small, that's four large gears. Built splitter, yeah. So why aren't you going down? Oh. Well, you are obviously. Okay, so now you know how that works. Does that need power? Yes, it does. Ah, I didn't know it needed power. Right, 
So, how much power does it need? It doesn't say. I have to bring power up here anyway. But just for the beginning one, I'll need lots of steel, I guess. So we'll just get the steel one running. It should be like about to the about to here and then split off to a storage and steel. That'll take up a lot of power. And also I need a lot more floor, as you can see as well. So I'll pause that here, build up the power, and then move the laser and see what else we can get in the way of scrap metal. See you on the flip side. If OBS doesn't piss me around. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, I've um, added more power. I've got battery in, which is max up. A couple more power poles and a solar panel, which is kind of useless at night, but whatever, that's what the battery's there for. Um, I moved the laser twice because it just cleared out all of that. And this is just plastic, I don't really need plastic at the moment. So then, with all that, I handcrafted whatever I needed. And you know how the. Um, oh anyway, let's follow the power. So the power comes up to here, it's going to need to be up here anyway for the machines. And this says unpowered. And I thought the little light on top was like a power connection, but it's not. It works without it. Anyway, I've created an input shredder here. Can I access it? There we go. Which is going to be that. And a storage. Oh, and it has built them up. Hopefully I've got enough rubber. And scrap. God, it's so bloody dark. Right. I really don't like how this... Oh. Oh, there we go, that's in. Now I can't see anything. What's wrong with you? Get in there. Oh, I like this chunky ass shit's going on here now. Right, let's see. It doesn't need any power at all. And it spits. This just needs power. Which I can run from here. Let's move that one to the back. Not auto save. Okay. Put the power pole here. That's close enough. Um, on the power line. here to here then if you want to from there yeah to here where are you? where's the cable gone? So that's now making that. Right. This then needs to go onto a separator. 
using more steel for than to smelter to make steel, which is what I want to do, make steel. Because that's what all the cogs and everything always need. That's what we're heavily short of. The next one to do, in the list, would be copper. Because that's another one. Anyway, that's the start of some automation. So I've got to find some more scrap metal. And continue on. Let's see the next one. If you've got any comments or any ideas, or you know any kind of school war mistakes I'm making, tell me. This is the first time I'm playing it. Anyway, see you the next time. Bye.